I have to talk about this because oh my god, oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jenny. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about um, a long overdue video and how I hope, I hope, I hope this um, can um, help someone because when I was trying to look up videos, when I was trying to look up actual real, you know, content um, and, you know, information experience from my you know, before I previously pre did this job, I wish that there was something like this. So, um, before I talk about in this today's video of like just my experience um, as an AmeriCorps slash city year, um, being part of the organization um, and living in Miami, um, I don't know if I'm able to say the organization because I'm gonna say it if, and if I can, I'll just like bleep it out. But anyways, my uh, the truth of being AmeriCorps slash sit in being you know serving in city here in Miami, my experience, the truth, honest, real, genuine, like authentic self. Um, I hope this video will help anybody and or anybody who's looking to serve um and you know if they want to know really what's what's the real deal um here's this video and i hope it's for you and let me tell you um let's get started now as my you know my experience the truth about being america was so anyways when i first started um i was actually i graduated in 2015 um in december 2015 from college so i was actually a college graduate and before then, I actually, um, what I actually signed up to serve a year later, um, actually, but like beginning in August for next year, for the following year in 2016. And so when I graduated, I was already working two jobs. Um, I was, all, you know, which is crazy because I was trying to see like what I'm ready and I was, you know, how was it really like saving up money. I had a full time job and a part time job, so I literally worked Sunday through sun sat Sunday through Saturday, I had no days off, and I worked both jobs to try to really save money. So was I earning great money in the full time first full time job that I had after college? No, that I enjoy it. No, but um, I, it was a motivation motivation for me that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna serve in Miami. Um, and I talked a little bit this about that when I was um about my why I was choosing to live um you know the the how to live living in Miami and the cost of cost of, you know my the cost of living in Miami my experience that's the video that's actually um my most popular one but stemming off from that um one of the experiences is because I chose to live in Miami because I was going to serve and um in a middle school which <sighs> it's never about the kids I miss the kids um but um, I was I already had experience working with kids throughout college. Um, I actually worked a lot with. Uh, I mean, that's just my career. Is I'm an educator, but I had so many. You know, I had actually background knowledge and working with students, which also helped me get you know the full time position after high school after college. And so since I was working full time, both you know, overtime, both two jobs, I was saving up money to get ready for AmeriCorps. And when I was in the process of really searching these types of um, programs to get you know get the real scoop. It wasn't until that I moved there um, that when I moved there to actually, well, before I moved there, I went to go visit in July and during the summer to try to find an apartment and um, my roommate at the time couldn't go. So I decided to go and see for myself. So I did buy a plane ticket. I did stay over, some, over there and tried to look look at the different, you know, different places that I was going to serve in um, or live in. I remember when I went there and I, I met up with my friend, we were, we were looking at this, these, these, these places and, um, and I remember running into this, this guy who was actually serving, he was actually serving and he was telling me and I, oh my God, it was crazy. He was legit was saying like, this is going to be like the whole, he was telling me like legit, like from experience, he was like, this is the worst like thing ever. Like this is literally like, it's horrible. The conditions are horrible. The working conditions are horrible. Living here sucks, but um, it's kind of like, you know, college Like you're, you're rooming with people. You have these different types of mindsets um, with these tips, you know, it's like the the culture he's like it's basically like you know l like dorming and rooming with people but like working like under really bad conditions to be honest because you're getting you're living off a stipend and that stipend is going to vary from different types of where you're going to like serve in whether it's california whether it's miami whether it's boston whether it's you know in, in 
Texas, it's gonna be all, you know, it's gonna be depending on the, the stipend, but it's very, it's not, it's not a lot, and because you're gonna be living on a stipend, it's really not, like, actual, like, per hour income, and if you really calculated it, you're really, you're making less be below minimum wage, whether, whatever state you are in, and I, you know, coming in, I'm like, I understood that, like, okay, I'm gonna, I don't have, I didn't have a car, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna start paying for, a, like, you know, utility, well, I'm gonna be paying utilities down there, and an apartment, like rent and everything so i was trying to understand like okay we're gonna have like a, a card like a monthly you know scan of thing so i was understood i was they tell you all this stuff on the on the on the website and i'm like okay that's not that you know it's they're telling us but it's really never about um it, they can tell you everything online but when you actually talk to somebody or talk to people in real life and actually investigate yourself it's never always what it what it pains off to be on online and this is where it's very misleading i went in not really fully aware what i was getting myself into um the person who was recruiting me she was making it seem like it was popping and it was so amazing and when i and i this is where i learned of like okay this is my fault i should actually know how to well i didn't know but i, I learned that okay if i'm going to get a new position or if i'm getting a new job i'm going to be asking questions that is actually relevant and what really values to me and at this position now that i am in I am like so highly aware I'm like what am I getting into what are legit what are, what does it look like what are the you know I'm details so I that was one of the things I you know my outcomes and I'll speak more about that in the future and at the end of the video but basically um I learned a lot like this is what you know they've been misleading you but you gotta learn so um yeah so basically when you know I had all the logistics understand planned out but the person who was telling me like i'm gonna be you know he was he told me from the get-go about how how crappy it really is and you know he showed me like the work that the kids did for him and he was like this is the best part that's the only best part because everything else is crappy and i was like dang like i i was kind of predisposed uh pre-exposed to that and um that could have been a, that could have been like a, a sign for me to be like do i really want to reevaluate but i was like i really want to Honestly, I really wanted to explore so I had different intentions when I was serving like I had this intention of working with kids But not to the expense like, extent of being like so um, Sacrificing so much as in um, You know sacrificing, you know Living in a good not a good place because I wasn't living in a good place, but um, living in um giving up privacy giving up um, comfortness and I mean that's always good I throughout college I always experience I always get around my comfort zone I always try different things but I don't know I just I just didn't my value honesty and people weren't honest to me and that's what I felt I walked in being felt betrayed so that is my perspective on it because when I when I got in there the actual work like you be working you be working like literally like 50 60 hours and you're getting only paid a hundred dollars basically what it really came down to and you'll be working doing these events you'll be doing everything schools are so under resourced and it's crazy because you would think that schools have money or you would think the government or uh, the state not the government or the state would actually be helping these kids and it's not like that and that's what really was frustrating is because you saw so much injustice in these types of you know with these students like we i remember this kid had his mom died um from you know whether it was a, i forget i think it was like a drug overdose or she was just she was she just died behind um, a gas station because she either the drug overdose or she was stabbed or like and he came the next day and he just shut everyone out like you're you like these kids went through so much trauma so much violence so much uh like exposure to drugs and so was i i was like i would be i lived in the in you know in the neighborhoods of these kids and it wasn't like i was able to i'm able to speak spanish and i'm able to communicate i'm able to you know like survive on that language basis um whether it's i need something you know i need help or i need this but i was being accustomed to taking a bus and there was uh you know at a bus stop late at night and on not a good you know not a safe neighborhood and there was drug addicts and drug dealers like 
and you know people who are addicted to drugs right next to me at the bus just chilling there until i came like i was exposed to that I just became more aware of like my my surroundings like okay i won't be so you know so close to them because they would look for money they would look acts and i'm like bro i'm, I'm broke too like, i don't gotta laugh at all about me I, just, I wasn't really always safe and and that's that's the sad world that we you know a lot of these kids live in and so so injustice with that said there was a lot of things that um personally like i saw that that they would don't tell you during recruitment they don't tell you um they don't tell you what what is really going down they won't tell you that you'll be going home at eight o'clock at night or you'll miss the bus and the bus won't come for another hour and you might have to actually because you don't have money you don't have money you don't have you know you can't order you can't always order uber and lyft so you're gonna have to walk back home so you can make it back home before the bus the next bus comes and that's what i would have to do is walk an hour back in the hot, hot miami weather with you know and that's 80 80 at least 85 degrees you know what i'm saying so it's like the struggle was really real and um that's just being the that that was the living environment the working environment is a whole another different story which this video is long so i'm gonna try to like you know fast forward um just give you the most detailed parts but the working with the team is i think is so important and i really 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 didn't like my team and that is unfortunate because i'm in the position where two positions later i have enjoyed the people that i worked with and it's crazy because um they're they they like i'm i'm so grateful for my team now i'm so grateful for my previous teams um, so basically i had a manager and i had different types of um people from all over the states that came to serve our students and i felt such a disconnect from the different types of mindsets that were serving on their team and that's going to happen in you know the professional world and it's just try to find the communication and balance them you know that line but it's it's crazy to me that sometimes um if you're gonna be working with students who are going through or you know if you're serving a population or audience that has been through so much you have to be in the same field i mean if you're going to be in the same field you have to be at that level and understanding and i feel like a lot of these people that were trying to serve just didn't get it and it's it was so frustrating because my manager at the time didn't even get it either and she was micromanaging me and i was like i didn't have to be, i don't have to be micromanaged like out of all my jobs I was never micromanaged, like, cause I I am a res I and I and I've proved myself. Like I'm responsible. I don't gotta. I don't. I'm. I don't have to be told what to do. You told me like, okay, this needs to be done. I have it done. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm, you know, I'll prove it to you. Like, here you go. There, there is. And 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 that's just has. That's always been my way. Um. So I was being micromanaged. I wasn't. It. I was. Um. Always being looked upon. And that if if you if you're micromanaged, manage, micromanaging people. Um they're gonna be acting out after after communicating like to you like hey like i don't appreciate this i would like to be treated this way or um i'm you know if they communicate to you in, in ways which i did it's like she didn't really respect me so i'm like yo if if you're not respecting me then what is the point of trying to communicate with you aren't you supposed to be your manager and and that's the thing it's like i'm so grateful for like the managers i have now because it's like or before i'm and before too i'm like you know it's all about communication and we just didn't see eye to eye and it's also different cultures too like i'm from a hispanic background i can relate to a lot of my hispanic kids not the do undocumented ones because i'm actually you know i have papers from you know but i was born in the states so that's another different types of issues but i'm aware and conscious about that and i followed a lot of these um people the teammates that i was working with just didn't get that um they would say a lot of these things that was just um it was just it was just frustrating so you might you know there's other teams that were working you know they work they work together they were great and it's like that's that's awesome and you have to have support system within that team you're gonna be working so hard and such long devastating like like really long hours that are just like you want to quit and i did quit i ended up quitting after two months i mean not two months after i was two months shy from you know literally like completing the, the 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 year and i was just like this is not worth it i was i got into literally like so much drama so much so much stuff that i was like this is not worth it i'm done i'm done exploring miami i'm done living here so all right so my camera shut down and if you're looking to um 
see part two of my experience because my my my, my um experience is real um let me know below um like this video actually and i'll post another video if you're looking for my experience at americorps um but thank guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and check me out on sweet simply jenny as well as sweet simply jenny.com on instagram and the website the blog the links are always down in the description and the whole, as always spread um kindness and thank you guys so much we'll see you next time bye